The Department of Defense Education Activity has 191 schools catering to children of service members and DOD civilians around the world. James Williams recently toured Fort Knox High to learn how students there benefit from an on-post school. Fort Knox High School opened the doors of its new facility this school year. It replaces a 50-year-old structure. I think that military children deserve it. Their parents risk their lives for us every day. They need to have a school that's uh, the very best for them. Principal Sarah Turner says DOD schools offer a competitive curriculum, especially in the area she calls strategic foreign languages. Which are things like Spanish, Arabic, Chinese, Japanese. In any given school year, more than half the students at Fort Knox High are new to the school. Okay, Mr. Ray, you're on. Given such a challenge, Turner says the faculty pays special attention to ensuring that students' needs are met. We do many things to try to ensure that, you know, their credits transfer appropriately, that they graduate on time. Jennifer Mason is a long-term substitute at Fort Knox High and has a child who is a student. Mason says she and her husband looked at public schools as an option, but gave the DOD schools a better grade. When we compare them against the experience that the DODEA teachers have with military children, and we compared testing scores, nationwide testing scores, we just found that at, at Fort Knox we felt like their education would be more well-rounded and also be quality education. Turner credits the professional development training Fort Knox teachers receive for that quality education. Our teachers are very caring. Um, I think that's a big issue in military schools is, you know, they, you have to make a connection with the kids um, because if you can't make that connection, then everything that comes after that is not going to work. James Williams, Fort Knox, Kentucky.